in another episode of Scenes from Lisa's Car. It's 7.37. I'm headed to the office to make sure that my key card is updated. I'm trying to arm the um, alarm. I don't know why it's not arming. And then I'm gonna go to the office and make a copy of these documents super quick and a copy of a check super quick. Go run and open a house for a client. Uh, it's not long, it's not arming. Why? Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And I'm going to be, so, I've gotta be back by eight because that's when Spectrum is coming. So, <laughs> we'll see if they're here on time. What the heck? Dang it. Oh, there it is, it is. It worked, yay, thanks. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, I'm in my house. I've got TV and internet and I'm assuming phone, but hmm, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, I forgot to ask about the phone. He's running for president. I do not know if it all works, and at this point, I just have to get on with the rest of my day. I started dinner. We are having Italian crock pot chicken, which is basically just chicken breast and Italian, zesty Italian dressing. I stress that I prefer zesty Italian and a crock pot. Put it on there on low for like five, six hours. Bam, dinner is done. I serve it over a bed of white rice and dinner's gonna be yummy. I've also done a lot of clothes. It's just drying now, so I'm gonna go load up my car and get ready to go to work because I have stuff to do at the office. And um, I left a phone number at the office, which was dumb. And I couldn't find somebody to come sit at the house while he did this stuff. I don't know if it all works. I don't know if I have a phone. But at this point, I just can't, I can't wait any longer. I've got other stuff to do. And to tell you my stress level, guys, I was stressing about making a payment to the house that I no longer own. I was like, oh my God. I, so I'm texting the loan officer who probably thinks I am nuts. And I said, I'm gonna have to make a, you know, the overnight payment. And she's like, didn't, didn't you pay off when you sold? Yes, I did. Don't worry about that. So that's that's how stressed I am. I'm worried about making a payment to a house that I no longer own. Y'all, I can't even. Um, I'll have to tell you what happened today. I don't even know if I told you. The fireplace guy came. Maybe I'll have to look at the footage and sit down and kind of recap what happened today. But the fireplace guy came today and that was a fiasco. Then this guy came and he told me he's not gonna be able to do this or that. I'm like, <laughs> and then I thought I had to make the house payment and I still haven't heard word on this other contract that I'm working that's supposed to, part of it's supposed to close tomorrow. <sighs> Y'all pray for me. Y'all pray for me. I guess this is where the vlog's gonna happen. So, I'm in my car. Let's start the car. I just found out not too long ago that closing for our new house can happen today at 4.30, what? So that's an hour away. I need to plug in my phone because I'm currently at 18%, what? <laughs> How does this happen? But thank goodness I have internet at home, but you know, when you get like a new device, when you get a new thing, there's a certain level, a certain amount of um, adjustment time period, if you will. So I know that's gonna happen, but I'm so happy because I feel like, okay, I can get some stuff done, like putting stuff away at the house, and then at nighttime, I can devote like a half hour to getting caught up on videos, getting caught up on some other stuff, and making progress. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm hoping for. Marvin is super excited. I've had a somewhat stressful day. 
but it's gonna be better you know what I'm saying cuz I got dinner cooking in the crock pot and yeah it's gonna be awesome so I'm gonna head to the post office now to get some stamps and then I'm gonna head to the um, closing oh gotta go to the bank and get the wire started and then I'm gonna go to my closing so what? what jazz hands again I don't know why I'm doing that now I'm at the post office and I haven't been here in a hot minute I'm gonna go check my two PO boxes and then oh, there's a line dang it I need to get stamps I don't think I'm gonna be able to wait in line today it's gonna have to be tomorrow morning oh well okay so we have closed on the uh, gray house and that refinance basically is what we did and that is complete so now I'm gonna swing by Best Buy really quick I'm gonna get two hooks to the bathroom so we can put our towels inside the shower when we're showering so we don't have to reach around anyway blah 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 and then also I'm gonna get two pillows because our pillows are kind of yucky not they need to be replaced so I'm gonna get that really quick then I'm gonna go back by the office because I don't think I brought the um, key to get into the storage building I thought I put it into my stuff I don't see it I've got to go find it then I've got to go to the storage building and get the stuff um, it's these signs and then I have to get this guy to update the sign and then then I can go back to the house so it's almost six o'clock I'm tired but let's get her done I am in Bed Bath & Beyond wow, it's really close. I'm in Bed Bath & Beyond right now and I'm looking for some like those suction cups hooks so I can put this you know the towels up while we're taking a shower but look they have a cat one I'm not getting that no I'm not getting that seriously I mean if you've purchased one of those let me know leave a comment tell me I'm just curious like do you just really like cats or did that go with your decor um, Whenever I see cats like that, I think of like Egyptian cats or something. Um, and I think the scent in here is making my allergies act up even worse. But I'm looking for the suction cup ones. Hooks, I don't see them anywhere. If you guys see them and I've already passed them, please let me know because this is kind of like, but I, I don't want to spend $10 for it. So, but it's kind of like a suction thing on the back and then I could put it on the wall and put my towel and my robe on there. But, not quite, not quite, I was looking for a less expensive option. <laughs> See, this one is $7.99. It says rust proof and it's also got the suction. It's not a tight never rust guaranteed for life, but this is a turn and lock maximum hold rust proof rust proof coating. It says max hold on there. And at this price I could get two. So maybe I'll do that. And it's got the stainless steel, which is my bathroom, so maybe I'll try that. Okay, have y'all ever used one of these? Does it work? I don't know where else these suction cup thingies would be. Okay, so I have, I got another organizer, but this is actually for the bathroom, for the part that we share, the cabinet we share. And then I'm getting these two, and I'm getting toothpick holder dispenser, because right now we have them in this little plastic cup, and that's not really the best option. And we do need new pillows, you guys, but that is 60 bucks. <laughs> like, I don't even know if it's a good pillow. That one's only 50 but this says for back, stomach, sleeper, medium, support. I don't know, I just, just don't want to spend 50 bucks on a pillow and then him not even like it. And this children's pillow, which is small, it's only 14 but there's one over there, it's like $100. $100 for a pillow. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's the mattress pad. Okay, I stand corrected, I stand corrected. Let's go look. See, that's only $12, but it feels like really 
thin so I might buy it just to see if he likes it and if he doesn't then I can return it that's a body pillow but that's not what he needs we need a king size pillow medium support pillow those are 20 bucks for the king size oh here's where it is okay so granted it is a down pillow I get it and it's for back stomach sleepers hundred dollars you guys oh my gosh no it's gonna have to be a hard pass on that that one's sixty dollars gosh man why are pillows so expensive <laughs> okay so now I for real have to leave and because I have to go to that storage unit and that's a pain in the bazooka and it's all the way it's a little ways away I say a little ways away but it's like 20 minutes but I've got to go back to the office to find the key then I got to go back over there and bah. anyway gotta do what you gotta do well guys I'm at the storage facility but not our storage facility I'm at the one for the um, HOA what I don't know how to get in <laughs> Morgan almost always does this. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna use the key, hopefully get in. Hopefully everything will be fine. I don't know, I hate doing this. What? Okay, I gotta figure this out, guys. So anyway, I'm at the storage facility and I'm gonna be getting the signs if I can get inside. And yeah, then I'm gonna load them in my car, take them over to Jay. He's gonna update the signs. Then I'm going to get them back. I'm going to put them out Saturday morning and woo woo, we'll be done. Hey y'all, I don't know if I ended yesterday's video, so on the off chance that I didn't, I'm going to end it now. I don't even know. We're going to catch up. We're going to have a recap video of this whole process because stuff happened yesterday. I had issues with the, and I'll tell you more about it in tomorrow's video, which I'm going to film in just a second here. But um, yeah, things happened yesterday with the contractors that came out to the house. And, um, but we're going to have a recap video. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.